Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Tech and Tips with King. In this video, I am going to show how you can install and run Lightcat PC software in Android with using Exagir Windows Emulator application. So, without any wasting of time, let's get into the video. In this video, I am going to show how you can install and run Lightcat software in your Android with using Exagir Windows Emulator application. So basically Lightcat is a PC software. In this video, I am going to show how you can install and run in, in your Android phone using Exegate Windows Emulator application. So yeah, in this video, I am going to use Exegate Windows Emulator application. Uh, but in my previous video, we just used the Exegate by the Alien. But in this, this video, I am using official version of the Exegate Windows Emulator application. As I mentioned in the previous video, I am going to use the official version also and the mod version also. It will depend on and on the topic of the video like uh, in this video i'm using uh, in this video i'm going to show how you can install and run light cat so that was the uh, very basic software that's why i'm using the exegir if uh, i need to install any heavy software in android so i will use the exegir mod version so for this video I'm using Exegir Windows Emulator application, the official version. And now let's talk about the software of that. So Lightcat software is a CAD software where you can uh, make 2D drawings, uh, 2D drawings of the architect and automobiles. A lot of things you can do. The software is perfectly working. So in this video, I'm going to show how you can run the software. So now let's get to the topic. So first of all, if you want to run a uh, Lightcat software, you have to download the application called Exegir Windows Emulator application. So basically, this is the emulator for Android while using this application. Uh, let me just give you a brief view of this application. So basically, this is the application for the Android and this is the emulator application. While using this Exegir Windows Emulator application, you can uh, run or install any PC software in your Android. So PC software ends up with the .exe and Android application ends up with .dpk. So it's not possible or impossible to run any PC software in Android. So the softwares are for PC for the PC but Windows not for the Android. But if you a lot of people don't have PC but want to use PC software that's why I'm making a lot of videos on software different different software because we don't know which person required which software though that's why I'm making every single video and every single software which can possibly run in Android but till now I have uh, make a lot of videos up so I have made a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. I have made a lot of lot of videos on a single software which is possibly running in Android and upcoming videos. A lot of upcoming videos to make on softwares of the PC. So which we going to work in Android with using Exegir Windows Emulator application. So Lightcat is also a PC software. In this video, I'm going to install with Exegir Windows Emulator application. So first of all, you you have to download if you want to run Lightcut software or any other PC software you need to download this application the downloading the description and if you don't know how to use this application you, you can check out my video I have made a separate tutorial video on how you can download install and run execute Windows emulator application in Android you can check out my uh, video so the downloading the description uh, for the download I have provided the download link of the telegram you can get to the telegram channel and you can join the telegram channel and get the link of this application so after downloading Exegir Windows Emulator application you need to download the software as you can see this is the LC3 so this is the Lightcat software and the downloading in the description and make sure after downloading you have to keep in the download folder and other thing you have to download the another software the 7-zip so this is also official pc software so i have downloaded and i have already made a video on it so this is the basically 7zip software 7 z software with using this software you can extract anything for extracting this i'm not going to extract in android founder i'm going to uh, extract it in the exagir so we'll get the better understanding for that and we'll get the pc experience for that so after downloading both the things you have to keep it in the download folder as you can see i have kept in the download folder so this is my internal storage and this is the download folder of my android internal storage and i have kept the 7 z software and the uh, lightcat software over here as you can see you have to keep like the same now after installing exagir and after downloading you have to open the exagir now let's start the tutorial of this video first of all you have to open the exagir windows emulator application now you have to click on these three dots you have to click on the manage containers you have to click on again three dots and you have to click on the run explorer as i mentioned earlier if you don't know about this uh, software you can check out my detailed tutorial video and it will be landscape mode so let me just turn the android phone 
and set up my camera and come back again so as you can see this is the executive windows simulator application and this is the file manager of the executive windows simulator application as i mentioned earlier you have to keep the uh, file which you want to run in the executive windows simulator application in the download folder because executive will going to access d drive as a download for as you can see this is the d drive and it's open the download folder of your android internal storage from here you can access all the files from your android internal storage as you can see this is the software and this is the 7 z software so now first of all i'm going to install the 7 z software and let me just click to install so as you can see the 7 z software installing and this is the official version of the 7 zip software I have installed and successfully installed over here. Let me just close it. The software has been installed. Let me just click to start button. And let me just click to programs. And as you can see, this is the 7-zip file manager. You have to open the 7-zip. So as you can see in the screen, the 7-zip software has been opened up here. And as I mentioned earlier, this is the official, official version of the 7-zip software I have downloaded from the official website. And if you want, I can provide the download in the description. You can check out there and download from there. So as you can see the 7-zip software has been successfully installed over here now you have to get into the computer or double tapping on it you have to get into the d drive as i mentioned earlier it will going to access it will going to access the d drive download folder it will going to open the d, d drive as a download folder or it will going to open the dom, download folder as a d drive as you can see now coin you can access the download folder uh, files in this executive windows simulator application now you have to select the software so as you can see after downloading it in the zip, uh, zip file you have to extract it so i've just selected the file now i'm going to click on the extract so it will going to extract in the d drive you can change the part and you can do some settings let me just click to ok and as you can see it will extracting over here so the software has been extracted so let me just minimize uh, the 7 zip software and the fault folder it doesn't appear here so you need to click on this refresh button so as you can see after clicking refresh button it will appear here let me just uh, open it in the file manager so let me just open the download folder and as you can see it will appear here i've extracted in the executive windows simulator application and the folder has been appear here it means uh, the software is perfectly working and extracting extracting process also perfectly working so let me just hide the keyboard so now i'm going to open the lightcat software folder so as you can see this is the software folder and i'm going to open it and as you can see after opening the folder you have to find for the uh, lightcat app.exe so this is the application.exe now i'm going to long press on it let me just click to open so I'll minimize the file uh, so as you can see in the screen so let me just close the file manager minimize it so as you can see the light lightcat software has been opened in my android phone using executive windows emulator application so as you can see in the screen so the software uh, does, does not require installation as you can see in the screen i can insert text over here with using this let me just close it so as you can see the let me just uh, click on the files and if you have any uh, like cat file in your android internal store and if you want to modify it you can make changes you can directly open from here while clicking on the open and you can uh, click on the my computer you can open the d drive as you can see my computer d drive while uh, accessing the drive you can uh, access your or uh, internal uh, storage files in download folder as you can see all this file you can open in this libric lightcat software it will be illustration file autocad drawing exchange format so this is the all the files you can open from here so let me just click on the files and click to new now i can create a new and graphics you can add circles as you can see like this so as i mentioned earlier the software is for to draw 2d drawings as you can see uh, i can add a lot of things over here The software is very useful the people who know about it 
as you can see there are a lot of features in this application every single thing of the software is perfectly working if you know about the software uh, you can use it so let me just uh, uh, I'm just showing the features of the, of it as you can see to show you whether it's working or not so this is the tools so as you can see this is what I have created. I don't know more about the software, but uh, if I'm doing right, let me know in the comments to just show you. I have uh, doing all the things. So this is the thing I have created in the light cat as you can see. So this is how you can use the software. I, in my previous video I have also shown how you can use this executive windows simulator application with the keyboard and mouse. If you have a physical keyboard you can connect it to android phone through the otg and you can use the software. So after creating you can save it so you have to just click on the save button and make sure you are saving it in the download folder you have to open the C drive and you have to make sure you are saving it in the D drive let me just show you how you can save it and you can rename it like this how you can rename it and uh, if you want to save it in the ICD fall or DXT so let me just click on the AutoCAD drawing exchange so after saving this so let me just click to save so as you can see the software uh, the the project have been saved in my uh, Android phone let me just show you so let me just open the download folder and as you can see this is the lightcat test file just now i have saved it in the executive windows emitter application i have saved in the download folder now i can uh, transfer this into my pc whenever whenever i get the access of pc i will transfer it and, and open open it and i can continue my work and if you have uh, again you have have some pending where you can transfer it into the download folder and you can directly open it from so let me just show you how you can do it let me just close it and if you want to again open the sort file you have to open the folder d drive again that folder again you have to click on the light cat app let me just click, click to open so you have to open like this open after you have uh, completed your duck in the pc and if you want to open it in your android you have to click on the files you have to click on the open now you have to locate where you have kept that file So we have saved it in the DXF file. So as you can see, DXF file, you have to click on it. You have to click on the open. So as you can see, this is the file we have created before and saved it in Android. And I've closed the software and again, I have open here. So now you can continue with work. Now you can do again the work with. And if you want to again, you can keep this doing again and again. It will go into work perfectly. You don't miss uh, any thing it's going to perfectly work in your android phone as you can see so as you can see this, this is the lightcat software perfectly working and running in android with using executive windows emulator application the saving importing exporting opening saving everything is perfectly working the software is perfectly working so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video any question or problem let me know in the comments thank you